Oh, here he is, Mr. Popular. Can light up a room just by leaving it. Well, I'm glad my life is giving you such a laugh. I'm joking. I believe you're still getting a hard time in work. <sighs> Even Kirk's having a go at me now. It's like getting savaged by the Andrex puppy. Apparently, I'm to blame for Chesney and Gemma not having a pot to piddle in. You must be pretty strapped yourself. You're not exactly shifting much of that makeup, are you? Unless you count shifting the boxes over to the factory so that we're not tripping over them at home. Well, yes, it's true. Sales haven't been that great, but. I'm sure they'll pick up. Look, I know you're doing this for Dylan, but is it worth it if no one wants to know you? Well, I've just got around it. What are you having? No, it's fine. I've only uh, come in for a key. I've locked myself out. It's not your day, is it? Come on, what do you want? I'll have a glass of white wine, please. Coming up. Seriously, I think you're better cutting your losses and jacking it in. When were you going to tell me about this? I was getting round to it. Oh, thanks very much. You can't just give up everything, Gran. I can. For the first time in a long time, I can do just what I like. Well, I've got no intention of taking those shares, Yasmin. Jeff left you with a load of debt. Same as me. I know that. And I appreciate the thought. <laughs> but I've worked there for five minutes. What do I know about Pakistani food? I get heartburn after a cheese toasty. You deserve those shares, Elaine. If it weren't for you, I'd still be in prison. The least I can do is to repay you. So get me a box of chocolates or something. Not a stake in your business. OK, can we just forget about speed dial for a second? And I don't want your steak either, by the way. But I can understand why you might need a bit of a breather from work. But the house? You can't just give me your house. We're not playing Monopoly. This is your home. It's your security. You're not going to chuck me out, are you? No. So what's the problem? It's what I want. But I don't care if it's what you want. It's insanity. I'm not taking your house or your shares, and that's all there is to it. Alia's right. This is your home. Fine. I'll keep the house. But I want you to have Jeff's shares in speed dial. You don't have to do this. I want to. I get the house, you get his shares. Jeff would be turning in his grave, and if that's not a good reason to do it, then I don't know what is. Just think about it. <sighs> yeah, OK. So Another coffee, then? Oh, no, I, I should be making a move. Ah, oh, I was going to put a spot of that brandy in it this time. Oh, well, <laughs> in that case. <laughs> um, have you thought about what I said? Yes, I have. Mm. I am going to take Jeff's stake in the business. On one condition. No, on two conditions. Right? That you don't give up your share of the business. And that you keep the house. Well, I've already said I'm keeping the house. And your share? That wasn't the deal. This could be good for us. We could support each other. And either we do this together or I don't do it at all. Well, it looks like we're doing it together, then. Good. Mm. I'll drink to that. To get that bottle open and don't worry about the coffee. Splendid. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to move somewhere nearer. I've, the drive from Bolton is getting a bit too much, and uh, my lease is coming up for renewal anyway, so... Why don't we... Why don't you move in here? I've got a spare room. That wasn't a hint. I know it wasn't. But it's the perfect solution. We either do it together or not at all, remember? Are you sure? I wouldn't have said it if I hadn't meant it. <sighs> do you think Alia would be all right with oh, it? Oh, she'd be fine. All right. 